Hi, my name's MJ and I'm an educator at the RISD Museum in Providence, Rhode Island. Today I'm going to show you some artworks by the artist Liliana Porter, and I'll also give you a photography challenge to get you inspired by her playful style. You can pause this video at any time to think, look, or respond to my questions and activities. Here's a photograph I really like that shows the artist Liliana Porter standing with a portrait of herself when she was younger. A portrait is an artwork that shows a person. Liliana is from Argentina and she lives in the United States now. Sometimes the titles of her art are in Spanish and sometimes they're in English. This looks like an old fashioned photograph taken in somebody's house but it was actually taken in one of the galleries at the RISD Museum in Providence in 2020. On the wall above the desk where it looks like someone was recently reading and writing are four framed artworks that Liliana made. Here's a color photograph showing you the same room in the museum. You can see the desk and Liliana's prints on the wall in the middle. You can visit a museum to see and learn about a variety of objects and artworks, but the places we live are also filled with interesting objects. Liliana Porter likes to take photographs and make prints using objects she finds, buys at yard sales, or has at home. Let's look more closely at one of Liliana's artworks. What do you see? I'm noticing that most of the picture is blank white like a piece of printer paper, but I see a toy person standing on a wicker stool toward the middle of the page. My eye is going right to those four red lines that are coming out from what might be the symbols that the character is playing. The red lines make me hear the music and the action. Let's watch a short video clip of Liliana Porter at home sharing some of the objects that she photographs, like this toy. Do you have any of the, of the prints of the photos? Oh, yeah. Thousands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. What year? Oh, one. Many years ago. Yeah, they were photo so. How you started working with those figurines? I use them like actors, no? The they become characters. In yeah, work, right? because I don't change them. I don't intervene on them. When I find them, they are exactly the way I find them. I like how Liliana described objects as actors or characters. Let's look at a couple other artworks that Liliana made. Almost all of them have a lot of white space in them. I like to think that she wants us to fill that space up with our ideas and our stories about what the artworks are about and what the characters are doing. This one is titled La Conversación, The Conversation. What do you think their conversation is about? How would the conversation change if Liliana placed the spoons far apart instead of close together? What if one spoon was upside down? The title of this artwork is La Ofreta, the offering. An offering is something that's given as a gift, perhaps with the hope of getting something in return. Why do you think the penguin statue is offering something to the Japanese woman on the plate? What could happen next in this story? Now it's our turn to make art using objects that we find. Watch my instructions, then create your own photographs and stories inspired by Liliana Porter's style. First, I want you to find a plain piece of fabric, like a pillowcase, to set up as a background. For me, it worked well to drape my pillowcase on this soft chair. This creates a blank floor and a wall to be the background for my photograph. Next, gather four to eight small objects that you feel have a personality. Here are some of the objects that I chose. Look around to see what you can find. It can be a toy, a utensil, 
a decoration, a piece of food, or anything else you're allowed to play with or use. Once you have your materials, set up the objects as if they're interacting with each other. Once you have a scene you like, take a photo and write a title for your artwork. Be creative! Here's a photo I made using those four objects, which I ended up combining to make two characters who are kind of a funny pair. I call it the siblings. Repeat the process to make a bunch of scenes and stories with your objects. Experiment with different camera angles and object setups. Take as many photos as you want, but choose three to five of your favorite artworks to make a series, a group of artworks. Add a title to each photo in your series, like I did here. Last, choose one of your favorite photographs and write a short story with the same title, inspired by the scene you created. Maybe your picture is the beginning of your story, or maybe it's the last moment of a weird, epic journey. You can add interesting descriptions, dialogue, or problems that the characters are facing. Here's the beginning of my short story, Bob's Long Journey Home to Flamingo Fuzzland. Bob had been away for 733 years, but he recognized the smell of pink flamingo fuzz from across the bay. He closed his eyes and inhaled. It was as if he had never left. Here are reminders of the steps you'll take to finish this activity. You can pause here while you work. First, set up a plain fabric background. Then, gather four to eight objects with personalities. Using those objects, arrange and photograph different scenes. Add creative titles to three to five of your best photos. Finally, write a short story that shares a title with your favorite photo. I hope you've enjoyed looking at Liliana Porter's art, which uses objects to inspire stories. I also hope you had as much fun as I did making your own photo series and writing about one of the scenes you created. If you have any questions or thoughts that you'd like to share, or if you want to post some of your work, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me and please stay in touch with all of us here at the RISD Museum.